So last time you saw us in these seats, we were defeated. We lost the battle, but we ain't gonna lose this war. But today, we make a comeback. Today we're actually prepared, unlike last time. We went out and got the proper Torx bits, and we, Emerson, on his lunch, so gracefully, For went to the store car. and bought me external Torx set, so that we could take the thing out. And we already tested it, so that you guys won't see another fail video, so that's good. And we got the car bro seat because Emerson's rails are on the bottom, so today we're actually gonna get shit done. And we got Brad here to help us. Brad drives an SR20. 1992 Nissan 240 with a 95 SR20. So, if you guys think that he should race Emerson, because Emerson just has a K8, right? It's rebuilt, blah, 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 all the slow specs. If you guys think that they should race, <laughs> go down and comment and tell them to race because Emerson's being a bitch about it. <laughs> Rolls in here with beers, ready to go. Okay, let's go. That one legit weighs one pound, and this thing is like 45. This probably takes away your horsepower. Dude. Holy shit, it's actually hard to lift with one hand. That's retarded. They are still good seats, like, yeah. Carbo seats are, like, really good quality. Yo, let's put this in the 240. Just like, you're not supposed to really daily it, but, I mean, you can. Spring, you can you see can it. See, you can see if you outline. stand over here, you can see where the springs pop yeah. through. So yeah. these ones. These ones are foam. Just foam, and you can, can't you, you know? just? You can legit just pop it out, clean it, whatever, it's all good. So this time it should be a lot easier, because now that we actually have the right socket, if you remember last time, Emerson was struggling like a little bitch trying to get this out. Um, you didn't even do it. Um, by the way, thanks for doing all my car mods. Okay, so <laughs> right now we literally just got to undo one, two. We already did that one to make sure that we didn't F up another video for you guys. Nope, nope, but yeah, yeah, there you Oh, whoa, oh, right in the good. mirror. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you just have little dumpling hands, that's why. Oh, this is bright as shit. You guys gotta let me know if you've ever changed seats in your BRZ. Is it normal that they're this tight or is my car just like, nice, nice shoulder? Thanks. Is it normal or is it just my car? <laughs> nice booty boy. You got poop skids. <laughs> okay, here, just cut it. No, not the wire, the tape. So there's oh. tape holding the wire. We'll show once this is all in. Why is there so many plugs going on it? Look at this. Rat's nest of plugs going to my seat. So now we have this up. Now you just unplug the wires. And then there's like, there's like the little clips that hold them into the bottom of the seat. Just cut the electrical tape. This is a lot more challenging than I expected it to be. I think the only seats I've ever taken out are on older cars and that's probably the issue. Like even when we took out the 240 seats the other day, there was no cables, no nothing. No stupid Torx bits, just regular bolts, and the seats popped out. Emerson, I need your little monkey hands! I can see this. That's okay. me! <laughs> I can oh, see this one. Okay. No, Robbie got it out, but then he pushed it back in. And then I couldn't get it back out. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work. Yeah, really work. thank you. I've done an absolutely shit job of recording this because we failed once and we did not want to fail twice. So we ran into like a hundred issues, so I was just not filming because I was really hoping that we could resolve them kind of thing and just magically we did so let me give you a rundown of what exactly has been going on here so the the issues that we were running into were there's bolts let me see if i can get you good in. the bolts on the seat rails on the brz are like up in here and they're ridiculously hard to get to and the one where the seat belt is which side is that on this passenger seat over here there's a bolt in behind this piece that holds the seatbelt on, on the driver's seat. And we legit spent like 25 minutes trying to get it out because we couldn't get a wrench or anything in there. We could not get anything in there to get it out. So we took forever trying to do that. The next thing that we ran into afterwards was we're trying to use the stock BRZ rails, right? Like this is from my car and then these are universal. And we're trying to hack job this. <clears throat> yeah, essentially we're trying to hack job it. So if you look here, this is for the sliders for the seat, right? So this, is mounted on top of this rail. So when you put the universal rail on top, when we put this rail on top of the, the factory sliders, you can see right here that this is for the slider. So the rail doesn't actually sit perfectly flush. You can see there's a little bit of a space there Question, and a little bit of a space here. And then we just have like the nuts inside here holding it down. Where's and the it's like, socket? where's the 14 mil socket? Anyways, we've ran into 100,000 issues and I didn't want to film them because you guys already saw one fail video. I didn't want to make two. But I think it's like 10 o'clock. We started this at like 7. That's eight, actually. Okay, we started at 8. We're not going to be able to finish this tonight. We're going to get probably one of the seats in. 
We're gonna get the driver's seat in, and then another day we're gonna do the passenger seat, and then maybe that day or maybe another day, we're gonna put these seats in the 240. And we have no idea how, because, so I told you we were prepped, and we have the slider, but the slider doesn't fit underneath my seats from the BRZ, so we're gonna have to makeshift something to get that slider onto the BRZ seats. Right now, our only focus has been to get this seat in the car because we didn't want to be here all day doing absolutely nothing. And my new focus is to make a video. Because I lost track of what we were doing, we were legit just in here for like two hours. Oh, my seat's all filthy, man. You better take care of these. I'll whoop your ass. That's it's not all done. Give me a second, boy, I'm trying to film. I'm sorry that the videos kind of sucked. I didn't really show you guys what we were doing, but like I said, I didn't want to show you guys that we sucked twice. So we don't suck now. We're going to get it in. Yo, you didn't put the seatbelt thing back on. We don't need that right now. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Oh yeah, you fucking do need yeah, that. Yeah, you do. You know where it goes, dude? <laughs> underneath this. It goes underneath this rail. Fuck! You have to take the seat off and put the seatbelt thing underneath there. That's not gonna fit. Clock yes, it will. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so this, this is the driver's seat, right? Oh, sorry. And this issue is that the wires are here. That's what your issue is? Let me show you, let me show you. Thanks. So this, 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 this is, oh, oh, hey, man. Today has been way too long. Okay, this, it goes here, right? This is the BRZ seatbelt clip thing. This little Ouija board that tells you if your seatbelt is unbuckled or buckled up, literally just pops right out. So we're just gonna bolt this to here where the seat, are you gonna be okay? Where somehow it's not really gonna, maybe bolt it backwards? <laughs> bolt it backwards? How's it gonna work, man? We gotta make it work. We've done this for so long, I can't go home. I was sitting on the floor of my car. This is what it looked like before, right? And then you just undo this, and then it comes off. And then on the back side of here, there's like a little tiny one of those push clips, and you push it, and like I said, then you push the little wiring harness, and it just pops right out. How are we gonna ever put this back together now? We'll go to the junkyard, there's tons of beers there. This is why you don't let 240 owners work on BRZs. Me putting this on the internet is just gonna make everybody yell at me. But if I don't put it on the internet, you guys are gonna be like, yeah, you got your seats that you didn't show us. So I'm showing you, okay? We're drilling a hole. I know it's not safe before you tell me. I know. We bent the seatbelt so I can never put my seat back in. We are going to bolt it into here. So I can I drive your home and feel safe. There's a fine line between safety and being like the coolest kid at the car show. And, um, I, I'm not being safety. Dude, BRZs with no seat are luxury. This could be sold as a luxury vehicle if the front seat was removable. Check out the leg room in this biatch. Holy man. Wap, wap, steer, steer. Skirt, skirt, and e-brake, and shift. Look at that. It's so late, it's so late. I've never treated my car so poorly as we are today. But look, look, we didn't even show the people. It's bolted, now my seat belt will buckle, it's on there. Oh, it looks oh! killer, oh, is it nice? So it's like, just kind of angled, so you're is like. It, it's angled forwards? Or is it flat? That's, it's flat. Dude, it looks nice. Oh! Holy shit! And the fact you can move, you sitting like, oh my god! Oh, look, see. <laughs> Dude, this is tight. Oh, this it, is tight. It looks good. Dude, feel this. This is solid. Get out. Let me sit. This is the best hack sh hack job ever. I'm so glad we kept making the video, man. I Damn! Look at it. Oh. Just, just wait, just wait. Oh, it's hard on my ass. Just wait. I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> See, we need to drop the back end. Just yeah, like, we do. I'm sitting way too flat. If or we'll drop. We'll, we'll put the front up one. It's good. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my arm. <laughs> Let's test. Boy, I had that struggle every time. Oh yeah! <laughs> the seat was like forwards, so we just loosened this one because this one is already like bottomed out. I don't know if you can see. There's like three. Spaces so we just like put this one up so the seat kind of reclines back a little bit and it is a golden I want to show you guys what they look like in the actual daylight because they look way better than the light you can get in the shop Check this out right here. Like oh, it looks Fiery in here. It actually looks unreal. It suits the car like perfectly because this blue when you stand back 
looks the same as the car's blue. Oh, there was a good chunk of time that we were installing these that I honestly spent just trying to convince Brad and Emerson, why am I so dark? There was a good chunk of time while this was happening that I was trying to convince Brad and Emerson not to do this. I was, I was just trying to be like, what's the best way to tell them I don't want these seats? Because it was taking so long and so much was going wrong, but now that they're in, they are super comfortable. Like, well, as far as like, sitting in a racing seat comfortable so like they're very bolstered they hug you very tight um i'm i think we've decided i'm gonna keep this one just the stock brz seat because for courtney if we go on long trips and stuff these are going to be super uncomfortable i don't want to torture her also until i get proper rails like the way we had to put the seatbelt thing in i don't really think i want to do that to her just for safety reasons, I'd rather put myself out of safety than put her out of safety. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the other Recaro seat, oh, it's impossible to get out, in uh, Emerson's car. I think that's what we're gonna finally do. Um, we'll just have one in each. Let me, let me know what you guys think though. If you like it, if I should keep it, if I should ditch it. The seats weren't something I needed or necessarily even wanted, but Emerson got a sick deal on them and it was like, why not put the seats in the car? So that's why I'm like, let, let me know what you guys think because I, I didn't think I need them. The BRZs have actually really, really nice seat stock. Um, it's not like I hated them or I, I race it or anything. So I don't know, it's, it's more for show, it's only for show. Um, so I would like some feedback on if I should keep them, if I should ditch them. I, I think I'm gonna keep them at least for now, but it's cool to hear what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoy the seats, I hope you guys like it. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up because that always helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know in your comments down below what you think about the seats. Peace out and stay committed.